King Broad is the former ruler of the scabrous sprawl. His one good eye emits mysticism, and his aura shimmers a haze around him. Not as simple as other gargans, King Broad is described as a weary being, bearing a terrible burden. None can claim to hold as much faith in their father Behemoth the World Titan as King Broad. None can recant the tales of Behemoth with as much passion as King Broad. No. Broad was there! At the day of the sprawl, when Sigmar Stormcast came to save the World Titan from Archeon's forces awakening him and corrupting him, King Broad had trusted the Stormcast to help save Behemoth, and he saw in awe as his father, his god, was reawakened, a moment that Gargans have waited lifetimes to see, only to have this monumentous moment taken away from them, as the World Titan was slain by the twelve great bolts from the Celestine Prime himself to present chaos from corrupting the world titan behemoth the power of this weapon was so fierce it burned away the sight of one of broad's eyes he recalls this day vividly this was a day that sigmar had lied in the ruse of offering aid to the gargants to protect the world titan king broad sees it as a means for the stormcast to attack the world titan as he awakened and in his weakened stupor slay him the ask from the stormcast for broad's army to distract the forces of chaos was so that they could not come to their father's aid he believes the behemoth soul cannot peacefully rest until he has marched into heaven himself and and ripped Sigmar limb from limb. This is his holy crusade against the God King and his incessant disrespect for the World Titan. The Stormcasts are betrayers, Sigmar a liar and a false friend, and claims the Behemoth's death was a murder. He does not like Kragnos and sees him as a false idol and clashes with other clans that align with the Earthquake God. So great is his faith in Behemoth and his crusade of vengeance. And he takes as many allies as he can in this crusade. He is advised by Seg, the Creeper King, who has sworn eternal vengeance on Sigmar after a Stormcast crushed a pair he was intending to eat later. Broad sees the Dawnbringer Crusades as an open invitation to dinner and an opportunity to prey upon their attempts at expanding Sigmar's domain. King Broad was the sworn defender of his sleeping sire, and now the Behemoth has been murdered, he sees it as himself, as the one to enact vengeance upon his death. He claimed an obelisk from the Sky Titan Temple of Tor Krona and uses it as the business end of his great maul. He has slain the mole dragon Morgathus with nothing but his bare hands, affixing the remains as a skeletal helmet. He is a self-proclaimed avenger and prophet of Behemoth and actively seeks for his betrayer kin that have sided with the forces of chaos. They believe Behemoth was a weak father and not worthy of their worship as a failure. Broad won't have that and works tirelessly to keep Behemoth's name out of their blasphemous mouths. King Broad roams the mortal realms, inspiring gargants from all walks of life to his side in his crusade against the god king Sigmar. From the top of his lungs, he shouts, I was there, brothers and sisters. I was there the day that the god king murdered our father. As if Sigmar didn't need any more enemies. Now, he has a gargant that is likely to become the next world titan, nipping at his heels.